In this hospital, nerve blocks will be performed while under general anesthesia. Because the surgery is on the foot, the injection for the block will be around the thigh area. While watching the ultrasound machine, the block will be injected. This is called a sciatic nerve block. <laughs> Surrounding the nerve, around 10 ml of local anesthetic will be administered. That is all. After the surgery, it won't hurt? When you wake up, the wound won't hurt because the block has been performed. However, because of the effect of the block, your legs will be numb for a while. You need not worry. After a while, it will return to normal. The numbness may continue until the next day. However, this is common, and you don't need to be concerned about it. In this hospital, nerve blocks will be performed while under general anesthesia. Because the operation is on the abdomen, local anesthetic is injected in between the muscles of the abdominal wall. This is called a transversus abdominis plane block. The pain will not be completely gone, however, it should be less than half of what it would be. In this hospital, nerve blocks will be performed while under general anesthesia. Because it is hand surgery, the block injection is around the neck area. This is called a brachial plexus interscaling block. The nerve block will last for 5 to 6 hours, and during that time, it will feel numb. If the block effect starts to wear off and you feel pain, please ask the nurse for some painkillers. Numbness is the effect of the nerve block, but sometimes this can last longer and the hand may feel numb even up to the day after the surgery. There is actually no need to worry. The numbness will go away. In this hospital, Nerve blocks will be performed while under general anesthesia. Because this is breast surgery, the block injection is around the spine area. This is called the paravertebral block. In the block area, a thin catheter is passed, so that after the surgery, local anesthetic can be run continuously. This is so the pain after the surgery can be treated. A complication of nerve blocks is nerve damage. However, the block is done while using ultrasound, and the risk is quite low. Even though the risk is not zero, the benefits of doing the block outweigh the risks. For example, nerve blocks can reduce the required anaesthetic medication and also reduce nausea after the surgery. Nerve blocks mean that you will wake up without any pain. Nerve blocks are able to successfully reduce pain after surgery. The injection is close to the lungs, and there is a possibility of causing a small hole and a pneumothorax. If that happens, a small drain tube is inserted and left for a few days while the hole heals, so it is not a complication with permanent implications. To stop this from happening, ultrasound is used to visualise the nerves, muscles, lungs, and blood vessels while performing the block, so the complication is rare. Up until now, we have never had this complication occur in this hospital. You have explained it in a lot of detail. However, it is scary, so I would like to request for no block. That is also one way of going about it. I'll respect that. There will be no block and we will substitute that with other painkillers.